This small hardware store is essential for the 1,500 people that live in this remote Nunavut town. It's the only place in this fly-in community to get lumber, tools, and parts for snowmobiles. But its shelves sit bare, the racks in the lumber yard empty. Well, there are sales that could have been made, but because we don't have the stuff here, you know, we're not like bringing in the revenue and... Every year, millions of dollars of goods are trucked to a shipyard in Hay River Northwest Territories. A massive barge, owned by the Northwest Territories government, then travels up the Mackenzie River to the Arctic Ocean to bring a year's worth of fuel, food and supplies to the country's most remote communities. But this year, that barge left late and hit thick, impenetrable ice near Tuktiaktuk. It was forced to turn around, taking Koloktuk's year's worth of supplies with it, including $850,000 of the store stock. Oh, it's devastating. I mean, you, you have to wonder if your business Stress. is going to survive. <laughs> like, can it survive if we don't get all of our stuff in? I don't know. This is the first of what will be dozens of freighter flights to the community. On it, just a fraction of the millions of dollars of desperately needed goods, tools, small appliances and food. The cost of flying in these supplies is enormous, but the barge company is footing the bill. Large items like cars and trucks will be stuck sitting in a warehouse until next year. Elder Frank Ipakok says this is the first time in his 71 years a barge hasn't arrived. For every community, it is a lifeline. Every morning, Ipakak uses his snowmobile to set nets just offshore in the Arctic Ocean. With the high cost of food, it's the only way he can afford to feed his family. Without snowmobile parts and lumber to make traditional Inuit sleds called kamatiks, many families like Ipakaks won't be able to get the fish they need. Meanwhile, Jowdry says she hasn't been told when or if the rest of her stock will be coming in, but she says she trusts the barge company will stand by its word and fly in their supplies. If it doesn't, she says the store may have to close its doors. Hillary Bird, CBC News, Koloktuk, Nunavut.